The Nigerian Television Authority's answer to Coronation Street was written in several different languages simultaneously, yet failed to make sense in any of them. I won't bore you with the plot, except to say that it involves a mysterious chicken strangulation, a court messenger wantonly snorting cocaine in court, and a clerk of the court who utters the mysterious line, Shut up, grammatic oil. Shut up, grammatic oil. But not even a tangle load of grammatic oil could have saved the Nigerian actor who pluckily attempted the role of a white English colonial judge and delivered such choice lines of British legalese as pussycats and dogs started to rain jumping from the sky. I wanted to come on. They started raining. Outs and dogs everywhere. This is a cock and bull story. This is cock and bull story. And she wanted to buy corrugated iron sheds. Oh, she wanted to buy corrugated iron sheds. For no apparent reason. All the while collecting the clerk of the court's grammar. To stand well like other men in the country. Other men. Other men. And wearing the unlikely combo of a pith helmet. Sherlock Holmes' calabash pipe and pinstripe suit, his speech full of sound and fury and signifying nothing. Oh, you don't tell me I will send you to prison. Insensible, irascible, rambling, incomprehensible. Perhaps this actor has captured the essence of the British judiciary after all. Throughout the case, the cocaine-snorting court messenger has been shouting louder. Louder! Whenever he wants people to be quiet. He means silence, of course, but judicial systems throughout the world often get opposites confused, like, say, innocent and guilty. If you do not wish to know the outcome of the first episode of this aborted soap, look away now. Rightio, member of the cast fell asleep during taping, the case was dismissed, the chicken strangler was convicted on evidence of a beak peck, and was handed a bribe by the judge, and the show ended with the pair of them eloping. The joys of British civilization for decades, we stole raw materials from our colonies, and now, even though they've kicked us out, we can still steal a cheap laugh at their expense. And may I say, how pleasant it's been to fill your screen with a minute's worth of crass funny foreigner jokes, thinly disguised as satire. Oh yes, they don't call me Bernard Manning with all levels for nothing, kids. Pulls the skin right back and moves on with tears streaming.